Hey guys, what's up? It's Bibs07 here again, and welcome to another RuneScape vlog. In this one, I'm going to be uh, doing some Strange Rock collection, hopefully. I only need a few more for my next uh, set of Strange Rocks to be done. Just one more thieving and two construction, so hopefully I can pick up the thieving one right now. But um, if you guys haven't heard, in the uh, in the Elf City, they're going to be coming out with another uh, Shattered Heart you know, Shattered Heart statue that you have to get, and it's going to be even longer than this one. It's going to be like 32 weeks or something. So yeah, that's uh, that's kind of shitty because I'm. I mean, I think you're not. I don't think you're going to need it for completionist, just uh, for trim, but just just like this one. But still, it kind of stinks that uh, yeah, there's going to be another one because I'm struggling to. You know, I don't. I don't really keep up with this. Uh, I don't do it every week like I should, but. Because getting the strange rocks, I mean, getting all of them takes a while. It depends on your luck, really, but it can take quite a long time to get a, a full set of strange rocks to add to the statue. But I think I'm on like my uh, like my sixth week or something like that. So you know, I'm getting there, I guess. But yeah, uh, well, I want to talk about the uh, latest polls that have come out recently, as well as um, the the information about the elf city that's been uh, released that a lot of people are arguing about and uh, some people are kind of angry about it but um yeah first thing you can just yeah, see right there i actually have uh, a lot on my xp counter which is kind of cool and interesting i just thought i'd point that out that's like 214 million xp or something like that turns it into lots so yeah kind of cool there um also the st uh, episode 10 of the slayer series will be out um, either tonight or tomorrow. I just have one more task to do, and when the episode comes out, you guys will see why it's taken me so long to get this one done. It uh, it is for good reason. It's not me being lazy. <laughs> but um, yeah, let's get into these polls really fast, if I may. Uh, still no Dragonstone poll, but um, the Diamond poll has been changed to uh, Boss Slayer Reward, which it says we are planning to introduce Slayer-like tasks for boss killing separate to normal Slayer. What title reward would you like to receive for killing each of the bosses included at least once? So it's a title. I mean, that's this the the title itself is um is not very you know exciting that they're bringing out a title, but the fact that they're introducing boss tasks for Slayer, which is like going to be really, that sounds like it's going to be really cool. Like, I'm really looking forward to that. I mean, apparently it's going to be separate to normal Slayer, so you're not going to get Slayer XP, but maybe you'll get, you know, maybe it'll be kind of like a mini game type thing, and you'll get rewards, like, you could, you still get, you get, like, points to buy rewards from a shop, and maybe those sh rewards, like, make boss killing easier. Maybe you can get, like, free God Wars dungeon kill count, stuff like that. That'd be really cool. So uh, I'm really looking forward to this update whenever it comes out. I don't really care what the title is. I guarantee you that the boss is winning. I'm going to vote for the Reaper just because I think that sounds cooler. But Oh, wow, the Reaper's actually winning. I I'm, I'm surprised because people always tend to go for the obvious one. Um, but uh, the Reaper is in the lead, which I like that one better. So that's cool. But, um, yeah, that sounds like a really awesome update. I'm really looking forward to that, and I'll definitely uh, be sure to make a video about that when it does come out. They don't really say when it is coming out, I don't think, anywhere, no ETA, but still, I'm really looking forward to that, so hopefully um, it comes out soon. Ruby poll um, I, is a boss slayer task, task giving NPC, so these are both about the boss slayer, um, so yeah, they said that. Which NPC would you like to be the point of contact for this? I mean, I don't know, I don't know who the raptor is, um, Aja to the attack skill cape vendor, I'd like someone new. Because I don't know who the raptor is. Death, I don't think, would really make sense. And um, Ajat, I mean, I don't know. He already sells the attack skill cape. I think a new NPC would be cooler. It's always nice to have... Why Why death? Why are people voting for death? Like, that doesn't make sense. Whatever. But still, that sounds pretty cool, uh, this update about Boss Slayer. I'm really looking forward to that. So hopefully that comes out really soon because it should be awesome. And um, I'm really excited for that to come out as uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys are, because um, it, it does sound really, really cool. But, um, yeah. I, uh, last week's update, I never actually did a RuneScape log on it, uh, but last week's update was 
uh, graphical rework for the elven uh, lands and Leia and those type things. Um, I mean, there's not really much to go over. If you want to see the graphical rework, you can head over there yourself. It's pretty go cool looking, I'd say. It's it's uh, you know, it's a pretty nice update. I, the graphical updates are always you know decent, I guess, but they're never really much to talk about. So I decided not to make a, a whole video about it. But yeah, I mean, it's all just in preparation for the Elf City to be coming out. So hopefully. Uh, that looks really cool, as I'm sure it will. But um, I'm not really sure where they um, where this this information is. I think maybe I'm not I'm not 100% sure, but I saw it on on some people's uh, videos and stuff like that. Okay. Let's see. Wow, that's weird. Serenity Posts. Okay, there's a bunch of stuff in here about the Elf City. I've never actually read this, but let's read it. So there's these things that are going to be called Serenity Posts, in which um, the player can stand on one leg on these posts, and they will slowly generate bonus agility XP. Once the player has earned a set amount of bonus agility XP in one day from the posts, they will not gain any more for that day. The aim is that a player generates bonus agility XP before they start the Elf City agility course. Yeah. Sorry about that, I had to pause it, but I did get my Thieving Rock, so that's awesome. Uh, finally. I've been doing this for a while, like a few, I've gone to a few trips here at uh, Master Farmer, but as I was saying, those Serenity posts, they sound kind of cool. You're going to have to, like, be paying attention, though, because you have to change poses in order to continue gaining Agility XP, so, or bonus Agility XP, so that sounds pretty nice. I think that's a cool, you know, sort of unique update. And uh, should help some people who are struggling with agility. I mean, maybe if the I don't know how much bonus they're going to give per day. You know, maybe maybe no more no more than 50k. I'd say it would be good. So that sounds pretty nice. Um, let's see what else. Uh, they're going to have level 90. Oh, that's level 75 agility, by the way. To do that, they're going to have level 94 thieving, uh, pickpocket, pickpocketing uh, from from things. <laughs> I can't talk right now. Level 94. You know. NPCs, there we go, to pickpocket from. So that's a pretty high level. Um, I accidentally just showed the Slayer tab, so I'm going to try and block that out in the um, in my editing. But, um, yeah, as I was saying, they're going to have level 94 thieving NPCs to pickpocket, which says common pickpocket items will be various bones and prayer slash agility restores. Rare items will include high level bones and extreme prayer potions, which... I didn't even know extreme prayer potions existed. Are they talking about super prayers? I'm not sure. Whatever. Um, light creatures. Okay, that's that's a bit long. Um, there's going to be agility shortcuts to get through. Um, I think this is the agility the agility course that they're talking about. Are they? I don't know. That's weird. That sounds really weird. I'm not really sure what that is. But whatever. Um, let's keep reading here. Let's show a bunch of pictures. Ah, here, this is what I wanted to talk about. This was the main thing I came here for, but I wasn't sure if this was it or not. Uh, there's going to be two new Dungeoneering Resource Dungeons. You know, we just had one from uh, from the Calgerian, for, for the Calgerian Demons, and we're getting some more right now. So there's going to be a uh, level 95 one which uh, contains Palya and Grenwall Hunter locations, which is cool, you know, in case the other ones are, you know, uh, packed or whatever, but people don't really tend to be there that much to begin with, so this won't be a really big deal. Two Rune Rocks, which, you know, more Rune Rocks in the game. Uh, a Bank Deposit Box, so that'll be pretty cool for mining Rune Rocks and stuff, although they are those already kind of exist in the uh, underground uh, below Falador. An impling spawn, which, you know, cool. There could, you could get some good implings from there. And a bloodwood tree. I'm not really sure. I think that's for the back criminal bolts. I don't think people use those anymore. But still, uh, maybe if that's, you know, going to be worth anything. I think that's what a bloodwood tree is, but don't quote me on that because I honestly am not sure. Either way, though, that sounds pretty cool. I always like the Dungeoneering Resource Dungeons. Plus, they give you a little bit of, uh, a little bit of Dungeoneering XP when you open them up. So, you know, free dungeon XP, pretty cool. Um, I don't really want to read about that. Um, that's really long. Holy crap. 
They're going to have level 89 thieving NPCs as well, apparently, that, that uh, give you seeds, secondaries, and dungeoneering tokens. Really? You're going to be able to pickpocket these things for dungeoneering tokens. That's, that's pretty unique. I wonder how common they're going to be. That's kind of cool. All right, so this is the big thing right here that everybody is talking about and everyone is arguing about, and some people say it's good, some people say it's crap, but it is the Dungeoneering Resource Dungeon for level 85 Dungeoneering. And that is... Uh, no, not level 85, sorry. I was, I was thinking about something else, but it's level 115 Dungeoneering, so it's a really high dungeon level. Not a lot of people, obviously, well, actually a lot of people do have it, but like, you know, the common players don't usually tend to have it, and um, I don't have it currently, but I'm going to try and grind out a lot of Dungeoneering before the Elf City comes out, so I can able be able to access this dungeon for you guys and show it off. But, um, this thing has a bunch of stuff in it. Uh, additional Crystal Flecked Sandstone Rocks, and I think that those are for making the the, uh, the eight dose flasks or something like that so that sounds like it's going to be pretty cool and if you have this level of dunge you can mine some more of those per day so you know pretty nice there's going to be some frost dragons in here as well as a bank deposit box but i don't think that's going to be a very big you know uh a very big factor in like frost dragon bone prices or anything because you know you always have the pack yak and that works basically the same way i mean it's not as good as a, just a straight up bank deposit box but like It'd be a lot different if there was like a bank booth there where you could like withdraw items and stuff too. So I don't think it's going to be that huge of a deal uh, with the Frost Dragons. But the thing that people are arguing about the most is the Crystal Motherload Rock, which can be mined once per day by any player. Um, and they will give you uh, one of the following drops. A Golden Shattered Heart Rock that the player has not yet gained, which Golden Shattered Heart Rocks are going to be the new ones, you know, I'm pretty sure. Like the ones that they are adding to, you're going to have to add to the new statue or something like that. That's just the rumor that's going around, but I think that's what it means. Unless it means the ones that you add to the plinth in your house, which if it gave you those, that would be pretty sweet because those take a week to get each. But um, those are common. A Shattered Heart Rock that the player has not gained, which is also common. So that's what makes me think it's about the new Shattered Heart, not the current one. Because, you know, why would they give you the regular ones when you could just get one of the, you know, one of the better ones so yeah that's what I think about that but still those are both common a key token which is common um, you know key token for the treasure hunter a crystal geode which is uh, you get those from cutting crystal trees they're kind of like bird's nest they have like gems inside or something like that so you know those are whatever they're not that good I don't think those are common a crystal half key like a tooth or a loop half is uncommon court case scrolls uh, like court summons I've actually done all the court summons so I don't um, I don't I won't be able to get any of these but those are pretty cool they're kind of a rare drop but you do I, I tended to get like a lot of them from elite clues I got a lot of my court, court court cases from elite clues so you know I don't I don't know I just don't need those anymore but those people who do pretty nice this is the one that people are hating the most tokens towards chompy kills castle wars tickets etc uncommon so mining this rock is going to allow you to you know occasionally you could get a castle wars ticket and that's like you know or castle wars ticket or two it doesn't say how many you're going to get at a time but you know you could get those and like not have to do uh, as much castle wars to get your trim cape so people are uh, kind of not, you know in debate about this especially those who obviously already have the cape they're pretty pissed that there's going to be a f way to get it without actually doing the castle wars so people are pretty upset about this but you know i don't really care myself because i'm pretty excited for it because it's going to allow me to use this method to you know get some of my castle wars games done i'm obviously going to mine the rock once a day at least so that'd be very awesome and uh i'm looking forward to this to come out but people are really uh really unhappy about about it because uh because of the you know castle wars tickets and chompy kills you could potentially get from it and it says etc so that could there could include even more stuff which i'm not really sure what else they might have but we'll have to find out other things that you can get are a crystal key rare a crystal triskelion piece rare ancient effigy rare clue scroll uncommon to rare i'm assuming hard clues are uncommon and elite clues are rare Champion Scrolls, rare, which, you know, Champion Scrolls are those things where you fight the champions in the Champions Guild, and they're a really rare drop from, you know, a lot of uh, monsters across RuneScape, 
bunch of different species drop them for their champions. So that's a pretty cool one. A complete Crystal Skellion Key, uh, which is very rare. A Crystal Tree Seed, which is very rare. And other items, weapons, and armor, all very rare. So uh, those sound pretty great, like the uh, the up the rewards you can potentially get from this. And I'm really looking forward to this coming out. It says the intention of this is to gently push a high-level player closer to their completion escape and trim completion escape, as well as offering good drops to those who don't really care about the completion escape. Uh, if you've already completed one of the requirements, for example, you have all the court cases, you no longer have a chance of getting the drop from the rock. So I can't get that drop from the rock. And uh, those of you who have any any crystal mother load shards, which I'll show you in a minute when I get back to the bank, every crystal mother load shard you gather up to the release of Elf City will allow you one extra mine on the rock. So you know, as many crystal mother load shards as you can get, you should try and stockpile up on them. I wear my my necklace pretty much all the time, um, and it just generates the rocks, you know, the shards randomly whenever you're doing something in game. And here you go, I'll show you in the bank right here. I have um, 12 currently, so I get free, 12 free mines on that rock when it comes out. So that's going to be really awesome. I'll definitely be making a video of me doing those 12, uh, 12 mines of the rock because, you know, potentially I could get some pretty sweet stuff. And um, I'll show you guys an example of what you can expect to get from it. And um, yeah, so uh, I'm going to definitely try and grind out a bunch of dungeoneering to get 115 in order to uh, be able to do this on the day of release so that should be pretty sweet and um, yeah I just thought I'd you know bring you guys into the loop on that if uh, if you didn't already know about it it is a pretty uh, pretty sweet sounding update uh, that's going to be added along with in Elf City and uh, yeah there are you know just a bunch of other stuff as well which you can um, which you can which you can do uh, and you know use in the new the new place when it comes out so there's gonna be a ton of new um, a ton of new stuff so I'm really looking forward to it and I hope you guys are as well so yeah that is uh, that's pretty much all I have to say about this uh, this you know information that we've come out uh, can come out with today let me know what you guys think as, as well uh, let me know what you think about the polls that have been come out uh, this week and I'll see you guys next time for the Slayer video. It should be out really soon. I'm probably going to go and do my uh, my task right now because I'm getting really bored of doing this. And I never get Strange Rocks. My construction Strange Rocks have always uh, been really annoying. I never seem to get them. But this is one of the cheapest ways to do them because these things only cost 20 GP each. So 40 GP per fireplace. So you know I'm not really losing that much. But it is really annoying because I can't seem to just get any strange rocks. I don't even have one yet. So it's pretty annoying. But yeah, other than that, guys, please like and favorite if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe for future videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one, which um, should be out tonight or tomorrow. Slayer video, episode 10, for a big price check. And the episode itself, even without the price check, is pretty insane, as you guys will see. See you guys then. Peace out.